Hi, my name is Audrey, and this is my brother Matthew. Matthew, what do your friends call you? Uh, um, Bubba. How old are you, Bubba? Um, five. <laughs> <laughs> You're four, silly. Four. Foster care adoption was definitely not on our radar when we were thinking about growing our family. Kelly and I were able to have a biological daughter like right away. And the second time around, we tried to have another baby and it just wasn't the same experience. We spent probably two years trying. On Audrey's fourth birthday, her and I were coloring in her room together and she pretty much changed the world for us on that day. She said, Mom, there has to be a boy or a girl out there that doesn't have parents, and you could be their parents, and I'll share you. And that sounded a little different than just, Mom, have another baby. She was really talking about someone else that's already out there that needs parents, and it changed everything. To have our four-year-old daughter say that there's, you know, we have enough love to share with another baby. We kind of talked more about, you know, what did she say? Do we have room for another kid? Do we have enough love? And we did. We had worked so hard for almost two years to get to the place where we were matched with Matthew, and we just got a call that we were selected as his family. Oh, and he'll be at your home in two weeks. And it was like, whoa, get ready to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing his profile and his pictures with his foster mom really you know, sent it home that this is, this is the match. That's when we really knew he was our son. I definitely analyzed every crevice of his one photo that we had, and the two weeks felt like forever. But our initial meeting, we had brought him some toys, and he sat in my lap, and he like looks up at me and starts like tracing my face with his hands, making this like lovey-dovey sound. And his caseworker was sitting there watching, and she said, look at that, look at that, he knows. He knows that you're his mom. When we brought Matthew home, I remember him being very, very quiet, and you could start to see that once he figured it out that this is his forever home, then he started to show his, his true self. Bubba loves all the animals that we have in the house. Cheese, cheese. He is extremely strong, extremely fast, but he's also very sweet and loves to cuddle. He's very thoughtful, caring, sweet guy. Like, just the nicest buddy to all of his friends at his school. But if he's in his happy place, he is tearing stuff up. He's running around here like a tornado. Matthew and Audrey's bond is very healthy sibling relationship. They have so much fun together. They're a good team, and she takes a lot of pride in, in being a big sister. Having a brother is really fun because you can, you can have a friend. Always. When Matthew first came into our family, he could barely bend his legs and his arms were very stiff, very stiff in the torso and the hips. So he was in physical therapy. It's just amazing to see his growth. We really didn't know if he would get to where he is now. We have him in gymnastics and he's just thriving whether it's physical therapy or uh, speech therapy, which we did. Everything that we've invested in him has just paid off in dividends. One of the reasons ultimately that we decided to adopt was because no child is in foster care because of anything that they did. They're not there because they're bad kids or they did something wrong. It's because they don't have safe parents. They don't have a safe place Somebody else made bad choices. It's important for people to support kids in foster care because if they don't have parents and family to take care of them, who is going to? Without Boys and Girls Aid, where would these kids be? I feel so happy the DHS worker selected us as his family because we 100% are his people. He's got a great future ahead of him.
Bibi.